Now, you may not realise this, but the dangers in exposing liars, scammers, whatever you may want to call them, depending on what word terminology is, that if they can't get to you, they will go after your family. Um, I remember one time that um, I think my wife and I were married by then. I've, I've got another video somewhere, but just from it's a long time recollection. I think we were just we had just been married. Yeah, we were. We were just been married, and um, one girl decides to call me on the telephone. You know, like the IM telephone. Um, ring, 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 and my wife, you know, we both heard it, we saw it, and we saw who it was from. It said it was from, um, um, VO Cookie Face. Well, what the hell is that person ringing me up for? She knows that I, I'm not interested, just get away, fuck off, and leave me alone. Um, so, instead of, you know, contacting back, and this was, this was really stupid of me, <coughs> I contacted through a message like this to make it, make it clear. Please do not contact me. Fuck off. I don't want to be contacted. I'm married. La la da da da. Um, so I thought, well, that would make it clear that yeah, I don't want you to contact me. Um, then my wife receives a message you know, a three-page darn message from another girl um, telling telling my wife, but saying it's for Paul, um, basically telling my wife that, you know, she's married a liar and someone who's sick and this, that, the other, and da-da-da-da-da. Um, and my wife, you know, was thinking, shit, you must have got pretty deep into this, Paul, into these, these scammers. So anyway, so they, were, they started sending messages to my wife. Then <coughs> another girl <coughs> started contacting me at times on the email, um, sending messages. So there was like a number of them. Then I'd get hate messages from people that I wouldn't even know, that I'm persecuting an innocent person, that they had never scammed, they had never lied on the internet. Um... So yeah, there was start that was going on around and around. Um, a lot of them set up email messages that are just brand new, and they call themselves Doctor Dre or um, some other fuck stupid name, you know, that you can't trace them back because they're cowards. Um, that, that's one thing we found out. Then um, this other one kept trying to join my groups, and then I made it clear that I do not want you to join my groups. I've done one of these letters. You're married. Fuck off. Leave me alone. You know, um, you know, people think that I got married out of, um, you know, just like, hey, I got married, that's it. But they, would, they were joining these groups and stalking. So what they done when I would write these sort of, you know, leave me alone, fuck off, I'm married, um, don't contact my wife. Then they would. Then I'd find out later that on places like True Dating and stuff like that, they would say that you know that Paul and they'd use my last name and all this sort of stuff um, is married and is stalking um, Virginia and you know uh, la da 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 da. He needs to stop stalking her. She did not scam him. He is. You know, a scorned man, la 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 la, and then you know the next one would just say this and that, and um, it would just be you know headache after headache. Then there would be all these people who would contact, oh geez, my emails and everything, and tell me how much of a hateful person I am and how much I'm this and that, and you know, and I'm thinking, oh, here we go. Um, that you know you're persecuting innocent people um, who who have not done this or have not done that, who did not know you, who did you know that because they didn't want their families to find out. 
Um, I had one bloke call named Josie contact and say, my mother has not scammed you. She is not a scammer. Then at a later stage, in one of those letters, he says, she has scammed, uh, uh, mentioned that she has scammed you. Um, I guess that whoever Josie was, which was supposed to be the son of the girl, um, realised that his mother was actually a scammer um, after researching and doing the information himself. Um, and I was getting messages from, you know, people's bloody family members and stuff like that. And, ah, oh, Christ. Um, whoever they were, I don't know. A lot of them, as I said, set up fake email messages and addies and... Um, you know, so I thought one day I'll do that too. I'll set up a fake one, you know. Um, oh, what was it? Whatever it was on the on the email emails, and I thought, well, I'll contact you with a fake one, you dumb bastards. So I contacted them, and I made it clear that um, <laughs> I was who I was, and I, I set up a fake email um, Addy. I made one poor dis disabled person very popular. I can't remember his name now. Um, through just setting up a fake email address, and I. Um, but anyway, I thought, well, if they can play the game by you know twenty people, I can play the game by one person. Um, you know, and they're saying, "Oh, we know it's you, Paul. We know it's you. Yeah, hey, well, fuck you. If you know it's me." <laughs> you must know me from somewhere else. But anyway, the idea here is that some of these people in the organised scam world, and scam education world, who are either scammers or whoever might, might be fooled by people doing the crying act, oh, I've never done that. You know, they're just making it up. Yeah, like that, you know. The crocodile tier scammers, um, they actually, if they, as I said, they can't get to you, they'll get to your family. They'll start contacting your family members. Um, my family in Australia, when I was here in America, when they were doing this stuff, um, couldn't give a shit. They couldn't give a rat's ass. All they'd do was just block, delete, and not even bother with them. Um, and, you know, that, that's just how it was. But, you know, as I said, they um, started contacting my wife. 